Welcome to my African Affairs. On May 12th, Otomfo Osei Tutu II will celebrate his 25th anniversary since ascending the throne as an Asantehene in grand style. He was installed on April 26, 1999 after the death of his uncle, Otomfo Ware Opoku II, making him the 16th Asantehene. As history would have it, this year also marks exactly 150 years since the Sagrenti War of 1874 when the British army led by Sir Garnet Wolseley marched into the kingdom, home of the Asante, and stole some of the artifacts when the king was not around and even burned down the palace. However, due to Otomfo Osei Tutu II, plans are underway to bring back the artifacts. According to Chief Nana Siriboy II, who is the chairperson of the Jubilee Silver Celebrations of Otomfo, some of the artifacts which had been stolen and found their way in the United States are set to be presented during the grand ceremony. He noted that the artifacts that were still in the United Kingdom will be brought before the climax of the celebration and still be presented during the celebration. On Tuesday, 6th February, a symposium led by seasoned professors was held on the Asante Kingdom. They tackled issues including the Asante Kingdom history, factors leading to the Sagranti war and effects of the war in the community. Towards a book by Otomfo Osei Prempe was launched on the history of the Asante Kingdom. On Thursday, February 8th, Kuntukuni Daba of chiefs gathered from all around Asante Kingdom to commemorate the day the golden artifacts were stole from the Asante Kingdom. On this very day, the artifacts were returned to the kingdom. In March, there has been activities by several institutions honoring Otomfo, including the University of Cape Coast UCC, which will confer on Otomfo an honorary doctorate degree, and a special honorary from the Freemasons, among others. A massive general cleanup will be performed in the entire Asante Kingdom, and all members of the Asante Kingdom are expected to partake in the activity. There will be a photo exhibition for members of the Asante Kingdom and those outside, including those in the diaspora. There are several tribes who have been given permanent residence by the Asante Man. These groups are part of the activities scheduled for April 24th, which is an Awakudai. Third Wednesday, preceding an Akwasidai. They would be allowed to showcase their culture. The chiefs, leaders, elders, and tribesmen will showcase their rich culture in turns to the Asantahene and his subjects at Adaba in Manhia. On the evening of 25th April, there are expected to be fireworks displays across major towns in Kumasi such as Tafo, Aboabo, Manhia, among others. This will be followed by a music festival at the Jubilee Park with artists coming from all over the country. This will be followed by an undenomination all-white Thanksgiving service on 26th of April at Manhia. On May 6th, which is the birthday of Otomfo Osei Tutu II, a birthday party will be held for the king. However, this party is not open to all. It would be used to raise funds to support Otomfo's charity works.